So I've been having some fun on deck lately playing live fire and I'm starting to do a little bit better, you know, still mostly suck, but get three or four kills in a match every now and then. So I wanted to share a few tips, things that I've picked up. First off, if you remember the uh, trailer for this map, you'll remember these little guys flying around. And these little drones are great for bonking your head on the ceiling and falling down. But while you're here, while you've got the grapple hook out, make sure you head up to the top of this side of the map here and say hi to Marvin, because, you know, he gets lonely up here sometimes. And it's important to keep Marvin, you know, up to, up to speed on what's going on before you go out slaying the enemies as one does. Of course, every now and then, I do get a little bit scared when playing these matches, and I like to hide in the corners, especially up here by Marvin. He, he does tend to keep me, you know, feeling nice and safe and comfy, so I'm just gonna hang out in the corner here for a little bit, because after all, I am a little bit jumpy at this point, and I really, you know, when I see guys jumping out from down below me... Ah, crap! There's one! Whew, okay. I'm okay. I'm alright. Just calm down. Just take a breath. Alright. So... As I was saying now, pro tips, you don't really want to be greedy in this game mode, especially when you have a good team that you're playing with. You know, sometimes you just want to throw yourself out there pretty quickly and let the other team get a few kills because you're not greedy like that. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to get all the kills all the time. And if things aren't working out for you running around on the ground like I tend to do, Maybe try getting up a little bit higher. Up here, for example, you can pretty much just shove your head up into the ceiling and try to hang out up there for a second. Or, alternatively, you could take some underground passages and see if you can find out where some people are by trying a slightly different path. If you're not seeing anybody down below, though, do head up into the ceiling areas again, because it's fun up there, and honestly, I'm a little bit scared again. I don't really... I'm not sure what I'm doing right now, so just kind of hang out there and let the rest of your team get the kills so that you really don't have to worry about it. I mean, you don't, you don't want to show off after all. Watch out for the guys that like to rush in there. Let somebody else go in first because you don't want to be the first guy in there. Otherwise, you're just going to get your butt shot right clean off. I mean, look at that. I gave plenty of warning for my teammates. Allowed me to die so that my teammates could take this guy out. It was, it was epic. It was perfectly timed and planned. And okay, I do admit every now and then I get a little bit greedy and I do want a few kills for myself. And you know what? I think that's okay. I, I don't think it's completely terrible that every now and then I should get one or two kills and not just let my friends and my teammates have all the kills. But don't take too many kills. If you do get your pilot sentry or your amped weapons or whatever it is you have set up, make sure you put it in a terrible place so that you won't get any extra kills. And then go ahead and let the other team get a kill while you're at it. You don't want to be gre too greedy after that. You want to make sure that everybody has a chance to get a few kills here and there. And in the end, just remember, it's all about playing fair and playing nice and letting other people have some fun. Don't be greedy. So that's it. That's that's pretty much my pro tips for playing deck in live fire. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, be sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, drop some love in the comments, and as always, happy gaming.